Chris, how'd the workout go for you today? You know, I thought the workout went really well. You know, I thought we competed. I thought the coaches did a great job of, you know, teaching us things that we don't know and, you know, put, you know, just putting out um, just, just some new things that I haven't done before and, you know, just some situations where I can thrive in and where I need to work on. And I just thought the guys, including myself, really competed hard and, you know, just had fun. And I, um, I was really impressed with everything. You guys had a good run in the tournament this year. Some good memories for you in the city? Yeah, I mean, I like Indian. Even though I we never really won at Butler, you know, my three years, we never won there. But um, in the tournament, we won. Once won uh, two big games and made it to the Sweet 16. So I definitely had some success in Indianapolis. You were so consistent shooting the three in all your years at Creighton. Is that something you feel like is something that can really stand out for you at the next level of your shooting? Yeah, you know, I, I thought, you know, I, I think I'm the best shooter in the draft, you know, off the dribble, off the catch, you know, I, I think I can really still improve on it, you know, improve my range, improve the speed of my shot, improve my, just the ways I get into my shot, and, you know, I definitely depend on my jump shot a lot, and it's something that can really help me in this league. As a guard, what do you see as the biggest difference between the college game and the NBA level? Um... Biggest difference is probably just the shot clock and the spacing. And even though I create, we play with spacing, we play fast. But um, biggest difference is also like just the size of everybody else. Everyone's really big. Everyone's really athletic. And but um, you know, I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for the challenge, and I'm excited to get in this league. Pacers obviously have a great connection with Doug McDermott. Did you talk to him at all? Did you give any advice going into this process? Yeah, you know, I've talked to him uh, one or two times. Just he's just checking in. Just you know, just he said congratulations on you know your career there and. I create it and um, that I'll be a I'll be a, a great NBA player and just to keep working and you know if I need anything he's only a phone call away and um, you know he's a great supporter of mine and him and his dad you know they're great they're definitely in my corner. Then your brother Michael Carter Williams has obviously been through this process he's carved out a long career in the NBA. What influence has he had on you as a player? Oh everything man he he set the blueprint for me um I talk to him every day he checks in on me. He, you know, ask how I'm doing or, you know, anything. You know, he's, a, he's someone I go to when I'm at my lowest. He's someone I go to when I'm at my highest. You know, he's he's a big mentor for me. And to have him in my corner, to have him go through all the things I go through, and especially in basketball, it's it's definitely a blessing to have. And I look at it as like a cheat code because not everybody has that. So I'm blessed.